Good afternoon and welcome to the What Caregivers Need to Know video show on eCareDiary.com. I'm Susan Baida, your host, and I'm very excited today to be uh, discussing the topic of sandwich generation caregiving. You might have heard this term. You probably are a sandwich generation caregiver yourself, but it's, it's really someone who is caring not only for uh, their own children, but also their parents or a loved one, an, old, an adult loved one who may be suffering from a long-term illness. I'm very excited to have two guests who know this topic very well and have created not only a website, but also a Facebook uh, uh, page dedicated to uh, the sandwich generation. Uh, their website is called thesandwichwoman.com. Very excited to present to you uh, Carol Brecht and her sister, Jan Steinley. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. So uh, let's get right into this because uh, I relate very uh, closely to this topic and um, I wanted to ask you what compels you to do what you're doing? Well, um, back in the fall at the end of my mother's life, I was reflecting on my caregiver journey, which was very tough. Um, it was a very lonely journey. And I decided I wanted to write a book to have somebody not feel so alone. I wanted, I wanted to create a connection for somebody to feel that they, they had support. Yeah, well that makes a lot of sense because a lot of people feel very isolated in the experience of doing both and so tell us a little bit about your uh, so you you cared for your mother and you also have children I do I have four adult children they're um, 25 to 32 I have a daughter and four sons or three sons <laughs> and um, <clears throat> my parents I always live close by them I have a very close relationship uh, my kids were really grown and independent at this point uh, when my mother became ill my father was still working full-time uh, we had just closed our business so it was the obvious choice. By default, I would, I would go help. I was like the helping daughter, um, which bloomed into a full-time huge position to manage my mother's care. Sure, I can imagine. It's, um, it's very involved and, uh, as we all know, very complicated and complex. And uh, Jan, tell us a little bit about your experience. Well, I totally know what it feels like to be sandwiched between uh, helping your kids, uh, who uh, these days are maybe leaving home a little later and dealing with aging parents um, actually both my mother and mother-in-law uh, declined in health around the same time and it was very difficult and stressful and uh, you know I'm, I think it's great that I can use my artistic talent to you know help support people that are going through that uh, same kind of journey <clears throat> excuse me there's millions of us now I think the one figure we heard was over 66 million baby boomers, you know, between 35 and 65, right in there, who are now uh, dealing with their uh, kids at the same time uh, and or uh, also maybe helping out the seniors in their life. So it's a Yes, thing. absolutely. So uh, this all emanated from uh, your desire to put your thoughts uh, Just, in writing. Well, you know, it, it, my desire was to help. All I could think about was, oh my gosh, this is so hard. This is so lonely. I felt so isolated. I mean, all my siblings are in town. I have tons of friends. And um, I felt extremely withdrawn at certain points. Um, I, I did make it a point to go to a support group on occasion, but my mother's care was so intense. Um, it progressed. I mean, there's a progression there. She had uh, severe memory loss, ultimately. But um, I just, it was such a lonely journey, and it was so sorrowful. It was, it was awful. And um, I just was so, I'm a helper by nature. Mm -hmm. So I was so compelled, like, man, there's, there's gotta be millions of people going through this. I'm not the only one. Yeah. And um, at the time when I was in the throes of caregiving, I didn't have a bunch of time to sit around and go read books. I didn't know what to do. I was just flying blind. Just the learning curve was great. You do what you gotta do. And I was carrying a notebook around with me everywhere, talking to major medical teams, hospital people. I mean, I, that's not my career path. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I have a friendly nature, and so I know how to talk to people, and I, ju I just did what needed done. Yeah. You do what you gotta do in the heat of the moment. Um, my father's still alive, he's in good health, and of course he was, you know, he was very involved in manage m managing my mother's care, but he also relied on me. 
and, and he needed support. So you, so you started out blogging. Well, I, I was, uh, when, when I had the idea of, of doing the book, it was suggested to me that I create a blog and, and a Facebook page so that I could have an outreach. And um, I'm like, okay. And I just did it. I jumped in. I had never blogged. I love writing. Um, and, and I write from the heart. I'm writing about my experience. I'm not the stats and facts girl. Um, you know, we do post a lot of educa educational posts, but really, um, you know, between our artwork, our shared artwork, and um, our joint efforts there, and the peace that gives us, uh, the words came. That's fantastic. And uh, I just want to remind our audience that the website is called uh, san thesandwichwoman.com, www.thesandwichwoman.com. If you are a sandwich generation caregiver and uh, you are looking for support and uh, relatable experiences, this is the place to go. Tell us now about social media because it sounds like you all have just blossomed there as well. Yeah, really, Carol started that and, and uh, I joined in in the effort. It, it's a place to uh, support, inform, and inspire. Uh, Kurt, uh, excuse me, Carol thought of the, uh, of the sort of tagline or, or um, byline of where uh, words uh, where words, words and, and art and ideas delight. Yes, yeah, so I so that. yeah, yes. I do too. It's great. It really captures it, and uh, it's a, I see it like as a touchstone where people can come daily uh, to get you know support, to information, to know that we're here, we care, uh, we appreciate what you do, uh, you know, just so that they would feel uplifted and supported and appreciated. And Jan, I'm also hearing from you that maybe sandwich generation is not that you're always uh, sandwiched between the care of an adult loved one or, you know, a spouse or a parent and, you know, separately your children, but it could be both in-laws. There you go, right? Sure. Or both, or both, you know, your husband, it sounds like you're caring for both your husband's mother and your own, right. and your, mom, your own mother at the time. Right, right. Yeah, my so. mother-in-law is still with us. She's in an assisted living and right down the street from us. So, you know, m my husband actually has a couple siblings who live in other states. So we were it for getting her. She actually moved to uh, Pittsburgh when she was really starting to decline right around the time my mother was getting ill. And I had, I was just like terrible, uh, had terrible anxiety, you know, had trouble sleeping and, uh, and coping with the whole thing. It was like scary, difficult. And like, uh, like you said, like Carol has said, you know, kind of isolating in a way. And uh, so we really have developed this community. We're, we're, we're hoping that people embrace it as their own, you know, that they would, they would come there and feel like that they could, uh, you know, interact with and, and find that inspiration and uh, that caring and support and uh, just feel like they're not alone and, you know, have a little, little bright spot in their day. And to remind them, too, a lot of it is reminding them to take care of themselves. Exactly, and that's what I, I was so drawn to what you've created, not only on uh, the internet with the sandwichwoman.com, but also on Facebook, because so many boomers are going there for community, and uh, your, your Facebook page, your, your community page is uh, like a haven for them. Um, you call it the Sandwich Woman Caring for the Sandwich Generation. Mm -hmm. It's a community page on Facebook, and um, Tell us also a little bit about your artwork and uh, some of the things that you brought with you today. Okay, uh, Carol and I are both artists. We uh, create Zentangle inspired art. Zentangle is a meditative art form. It's a, actually a patent pending method. And uh, it's a way to create uh, beautiful images by drawing structured patterns. So Carol and I both discovered it a little over a year ago, fell in love with it. Uh, I to the point where I'd say I was obsessed and I went and trained with the founders uh, in Providence, Rhode Island this spring and became a certified Zentangle teacher. So I am offering uh, classes and workshops in the Pittsburgh area now and next year also in Phoenix and Denver. Yes. Can you show us your iPhone cover and your pillow there? <laughs> I love this. Uh... Yeah, this is uh, actually one of the tiles that I created and I actually, uh, on our uh, store, online store, uh, you have the ability to uh, zoom in and out on the image size and uh, also change background colors so you can really kind of customize it. So this is actually zoomed in on a piece of one design. This is another design that was made into a pillow, actually has a zipper, uh, you know, so that you can take the cover off and uh, take care of it that way. And then this was another one I had made into a tote bag. There's several different size tote bags, so these are kind of fun. 
And these there's are, something very peaceful. Just look at the looking at these images. There's a calm and a, a sense of peace that comes. So it's a it's a wonderful gift to give to a uh, someone who's stressed beyond mm -hmm. imagination. Absolutely. Yeah, we felt that the Zentangle, with its intricate patterns and this sort of structured kind of pattern making, was um, a perfect metaphor for the multifaceted sandwich woman. And, and our artwork uh, is all over our social media and the blog website, and so a natural next step was to get involved with a store. We found a company where not only can you just uh, get the prints on you know canvas or paper or whatever and, and frame prints too, uh, but they uh, make our images into all kinds of things. So the cell phone covers, the, the tote bags, the pillows, and these greeting cards too. These are some of the cards that my sister has made. I don't know if you can if you can see them. So there, if, let me read it. it. Let me read the front. Caregivers have a heart of gold. Right. Oh wow, that's great. How good caregiver. I love that. Yes. These are uh, common themes on the on the cards and, and the images. Another caregivers have a heart of gold. And you can personalize messages on the inside. So greeting cards uh, is a, is a cool uh, thing that we have. And um, there's actually a caregiver gallery on the store site, which is the Sandwich Woman dot artistwebsites.com if you want to go directly there you can also get there through our Facebook page on the about uh, under the about heading there's a link directly to the store okay. and on the blog you, there's a, uh, a link there that says our store and also there are images that are like little slideshows you can click on those and go directly to the store so you can get there like three or four different ways um, but it just seemed like a natural thing to, to make these images available if you go to the caregiver gallery you'll see all the ones that particularly lend themselves to supporting uh, caregivers. And our hope uh, and prayer is really that we find some, some companies, some organizations, maybe some nonprofits or whatever, that might like to partner with us mm -hmm. and use some of these things for fundraising events, thank yous, incentives, you know, employee thank yous or, or employee of the month, that kind of thing, whatever. That's a fantastic uh, yeah, idea. Yeah, volume discounts Great. and things like that. So Great. we're looking for people. I, I now, one. yes. Can I interject one thing? Yes. As far as these cards, I'm a big card giver. I mean, I buy them year round, always have, love to give them. There's no caregiver cards. Right. You, you can't I was just going to say you that. Can't yeah. find you them. cannot find them. The few that you specific, might be able to find yeah. online, they're, they're fine. But these, these really, th this is my heart. This is yeah. what I love to do. I love to uplift caregivers. And it just, it just pours out of me. I just love it. Now we also have, you also have some very big news uh, about a book coming up, right? Oh, I do. Um, you you want to share a little bit about that sure. with us? Sure. Um, you know, my, my blog has really got me back in the spirit of writing, and um, I love to write. Um, my, my book is not going to be your facts and stats, girl. It will be, um, you know, have a flavor of my blog. It's gonna, I'm going to share my experience without being a tell-all book. It'll be a memoir kind of book. I, I hopefully will offer some, you know, helpful ideas and tips. Um, some inspiration, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, include several of my caregiver designs in there, uh, maybe after each chapter, so that if you don't have time to read, which I had very little time when I was fully caring for my mother full time, uh, and, and very stressed out from that, I could at least open the book and see something pretty that affirms who I am. So it's a book of affirmation and hopefully inspiration and support. That's great. Yeah. That's exactly what we need. And we need to remember to take that time. So thank you so much for coming today to talk about thesandwichwoman.com and uh, your Facebook page. And because I think it's so important for us to realize that there are resources out there and sometimes they're not as easy to find. And so I'm so, I'm so glad we could have you here on eCare Diary to share this with our audience because I'm sure there's so many out there who need some support. Uh, so thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. We appreciate much. it. And thank you all for joining us. Until next time. Take care.